At 6 in Pennsylvania in Washington, D.C., you will find the museum. <laughs> a silly name, my girls say. News and museum all smushed into one. But a fitting name because all you find here is news. 250,000 square feet of news. We learn how it's made, how it's reported, how our rights are protected to it, and how it's changed through the years. We started our tour with a fascinating 4D movie about the first female undercover journalist, Nellie Bly. Then we went on to discover the types of news the media covers, like the president's, the hurricane, the Berlin Wall, and, well, no one in our family will forget 911. We then learned about freedom of the press, the five freedoms of the First Amendment, in fact. This gal had some fantastic advice on how to remember them. R A P P S R. Again. A. Assembly. 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 P. Um, press. press. P. Petition. S. Speech. You got it. Lanikis. Of course, there is the technical aspect of getting news, TV news anyway, on to the air. Here's a satellite truck and one of the girls' favorite, master control. As we pass the third level, look out the back. You can see our master control room. All of the museum's videos and interactives are controlled from there. At the museum, you can put yourself on assignment. We know what happened, when, and where. You need to find out who did it, how, and why. Ask questions, get the facts, and file the story with this PDA as soon as you can. Now get going. And you get a chance to broadcast your own live news report. Which we did, again and again. Who could resist? And I must say, trying out somebody else's job, such a powerful job at that, was definitely the favorite part of our visit that day. Hi, I'm here. Planning on visiting the museum? Here are a couple tips. Do try to record your own newscast. Good. How much are the um, how much are the DVDs? You can order a DVD and prints right there on site. Makes for great Christmas card pictures. And don't forget to get out on deck. The museum has probably one of the best views of Washington, D.C.